mistakes in there. I always forget to go from the G up to the uh, B, but I'll give you an idea. Basically it's E. I'm playing just the high part of the E5 chord. Then going down to the D. F sharp major. A, E. And then I kind of cheat in that octave part, the E. And then when you try to come in on the verse, I try to do a little bit of a backwards tape. I really don't have a backward effect with me, but kind of like a... Drift. And then you hit that E chord, and then... You know, a, a typical Hendrix chord, which is an E flat minor 7 with that little pinky. And then D with a 6. And then... A, Sharp minor seven with the pinky, and then go B to A and to C sharp minor, and then do some do a little suspended game with the with the B. And then he cheats in a little kind of a D chord suspended. Then it goes in. and do a little then A yes G6 and then an F major 
major seven, and occasionally he would lift up the, the finger and go. And then on the G, he goes up to a B, which always, always freaks me out. And then the chromatic run. He also does this little thing, he goes e, down to the E flat minor seven. And when he hits that D, he goes. So the song's kind of easy, in a way, if you can get those backward parts in there and don't fluff it like I do from the G to the... to make it a little bit fuller than I'm making it. And then, and then it, the song ends from a B to a C, to, to a C suspended. And I kind, of, I kind of fudge that backward part where I go. Staying in a C major and then going up to. So F and G, G and A, and A and C. Just kind of faking that backward work part where it ends the song where he's going. Something like that. Anyway, that's drifting, at least the best I can get it for right now. Thanks.